Hey everyone, today I have an advanced contortionist level stretch routine for you. It might be super impressive and all of that, but trust me, you can do it. Just believe in yourself. You got this. And as a reward for completing the workout, there will be a giveaway at the end of the video. So subscribe and watch all the way through to enter that. All that said, roll out your mat, follow along, and let's get started. Warm up with arabesque kicks. We're going to try to get our legs over 90 degrees from the bar. Unlike your dance teachers will tell you, you can lean forward and arch your back to try to snap your leg higher. If your bar is sturdy, I highly advise that you actually grab it and press your upper body up really close to it. Repeat on the other side, make sure you're keeping your legs straight, your feet pointed, and you're trying to snap as fast as you can so you can really get your leg high. You should feel a great stretch in both your leg, your pelvis, and your lower back. Now we're going to do the scale stretch at the bar. The idea is to get your upper body upright and as close to the bar as possible. Also grab your leg at the ankle rather than the knees. You can get a deeper stretch. And of course we're going to repeat that on the other side. Definitely keep note on whether one side is easier than the other because that'll show whether you have side body dominance and flexibility and that'll mean that you should work more on your bad leg. Next up is push-up splits. I actually invented this exercise like a long time ago when I was younger. What you're going to do is put one foot on the bar and then hop back with the other one and use your body weight to push down forward. You should feel yourself get into over splits while getting a pretty good upper body workout. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Of course, make sure you're really pushing down on that upper body. Don't just focus on doing the splits, but you also want to make sure you're really engaging that core and your arms and all of that. This is, again, a full body exercise. Keep going. You're almost there. Now we're going to do 90 degree kick, so you want to get your body into that perpendicular 90 degree angle, all perfect, squeeze your core in, and then you want to kick your legs up into over splits, if possible, at least 180 degrees here. Don't cheat. And of course, repeat on the other side, you should really feel a big pop in that leg muscle. You should really be engaging your pelvis and your hip flexors and you can be arching your back to get the snap in if needed. Remember, 180 degree minimum or greater. Next up is swivelers, so you're going to reach one arm up into touchdown position, then the other, and then swoop your arms behind your back, reach all the way down into the hamstring stretch, then swivel back up, so it should be one smooth dance motion. Remember, your hands and arms stay glued to your body. You can use your back to arch yourself down, but do not bend your legs, because that will completely negate the stretch. Now we're going to do the needle stretch at the bar. It's very similar to the scale, except you're grabbing with two arms rather than one, and you will have to arch your back quite a bit more. Now repeat on the other side. If you're having trouble balancing, remember to lean forward against the bar. You definitely want a stable bar to do this and then pull your leg as close as you possibly can towards your head. Now 
next up is the switch lunges. So you wanna get into a regular front lunge position and then turn out to face center. And then you're just gonna go back and forth like I am. Try to turn your feet out at least 45 degrees to the side. And then just go back and forth, keeping your arms and legs parallel with each other. Try to get your upper body and your thighs as close to the ground as you possibly can. That last switcher we're going to hold straight into the center and then throw our body weight onto our arms so your legs should feel weightless as you press down on your arms and you get your legs in that end position. Really going to improve arm strength while opening up your hips. Super deep window wiper side reaches so you want to start by having perfect posture feet two times shoulder width apart, squeeze in really tight, and then you're just gonna reach all the way over to one side, touch one hand to the floor, extend the other arm as far as you possibly can, make sure it's touching your ear, and try to get the side of your body completely parallel to the ground. And then reach all the way over to the other side, keeping good form. Feel a super deep side stretch here. Remember, don't stick out your rear at all or arch your back. You wanna keep it in one smooth window wiper motion. Next to the side hamstring stretch, so get down on the ground onto your elbows. And remember to keep your legs straight and have good posture. Do not bend your legs, that's cheating. And we're going to repeat and swivel up to the other side. Remember, get down on your elbows, not your hands. If you have your nose pressed up to your knee, you can reach. No complaining. You can do it. I promise. We're going to do that same super deep side reach plus the hamstring stretch onto our elbows. This time, while leaving your elbows on the ground, slide straight into splits. And then try to get your nose perfectly to your knee like the bow and arrow stretch. You should have your upper body laying down completely flat. If you're doing this right, this should be really, really comfortable. Don't get up out of that bow and arrow yet because now we're gonna needle straight backwards. So you're gonna lift up, lift your chest back and just reach all the way back for your back leg and grab wherever is comfortable near your ankle or your knee, but try to get your head to touch your back thigh. Now get up on out of those splitsies and get straight back up into that hamstring stretch on the other side. And remember, slide straight down into splits while keeping your elbows on the ground. So then from there, you're gonna go straight into that bow and arrow slash leg hold stretch. And again, you should be laying down completely flat. It should feel nice and comfortable. Trust me, I've fallen asleep in this position before. <laughs> Once again, go straight on back into the needle stretch. So it should be one fluid motion. Just go all the way back. Get your head back and arms as close to that back leg as you possibly can. Next up is Chinese straddle. You know what those are? That's a 180 degree middle split with your chest up. Much harder than the regular middle split. So you wanna have your knees facing the ceiling. You'll feel a huge stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes when you do this. And make sure you press down on your thighs once you get to 180 degrees so you can hold the position. Also make sure your chest is up and you're squeezing in your core.
Next is the undulation. So you want to stay in that 180 degree Chinese straddle and you're going to go back and forth with your arms contract and open. Sort of like butterfly arms and you're trying to reach your arms all the way back touching each other and then all the way forward. Go back and forth a few more times. Really contract in and arch your back. Now we're going to stretch shoulders. Instead of just doing the normal shoulder stretch, you are going to stay in that Chinese split position. So you want to push your shoulders all the way forward. Get a really good twist as you push down on those thighs. This is, again, a full body stretch and it should be a challenge. Now pull back up into the Chinese split position and we're going to do side reaches. So you want to reach all the way over to one side while keeping your feet pointed and try to have the side of your body squeezed up right up against your leg. With a perfect window wiper motion, you're going to go over to the other side. Make sure you're not really shifting your weight in your straddle so much because that might be cheating and you might not be in 180 degrees. Make sure, again, you're trying to get the side of your body really close to that leg so you can get a super deep stretch. Now on the last undulation, you're gonna swoop down into a flat body middle split position. Try to reach your arms backward to grab your ankles. Congrats if you've gotten through this whole workout or made it to the end of this video. You are extra special and I will love you forever for that. Make sure you go subscribe if you like this video because I make lots more very similar to this. As you can see, I'm starting a new video next week on Hollywood celebrity workouts. So yes, this is the workout of a celebrity who we all know and love. So stay tuned to find out who it's going to be on. And if you want to see this as a series, make sure you comment below which celebrities you'd like me to show workouts on. Yes, as the title says, this video is a giveaway. I'm giving away a $50 Bed Bath & Beyond gift card to one lucky winner. If you want to enter, I ask you to one, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with the hashtag EricaLynn. Yes, this is open internationally, and the more times you enter, the more likely you win. I'll be doing a random draw of the comments, and I'll be announcing it in one of my upcoming videos. All the rules are also in the description below. And in case you missed my Amazon giveaway announcement, the winner was Sophia LC. Congrats, girl. Email me to claim your prize. I'm not good at wrapping up these videos, but hey, stick around. Check out some of my other videos and stuff. Leave comments below and I will reply to every single one of you. I promise. You know how good I am about that. So, uh, mwah. Bye.